Home service companies, these are the three main KPIs that you need to track if you really want to grow your business. Number one is your booking rate. You need to know what this number is. It is super important because there are a lot of holes in our lead bucket, if you will, when it comes to this. We track this data across tens of thousands of phone calls every single year. And right now through uh, January through July of this year, we are at about 52% across the clients that we track. That means 48% of all bookable jobs do not get booked and they just fall through the cracks. One of the biggest things that we see as a problem here is either A, you're overbooked, means you're understaffed, or B, the price objection. A lot of people wanna know what it's gonna to cost to come out and we stick to our guns as far as, hey, we're gonna have this fee, this diagnostic fee. One of the best things you could do is hire a VA, somebody who is not associated with your company, is not on performance pay or any other payment system. Train them exactly what to look for and have them listen to all your phone calls. If you have a system like CallRail, they have AI summaries and transcriptions where you can make this a much easier. We only have a few team members that actually go through the calls, even though we have tens of thousands of client phone calls a month because we use technology to enhance this. Next step, understand your technician close rate. This is, gets tricky because a lot of times there is a diagnostic fee, let's say it's $99, technician collects the $104, $105, whatever it is with tax, and the system you're using doesn't know how to track that properly. So that technician did not convert anything. If they just are collecting diagnostic fee, maintenance fees, that is not a conversion. So you have to make sure that you're looking at the data if you're doing a $29 tune-up, you have to make sure that something is being sold, whether it's a membership, a repair, something else. You have to look at the conversion rate from that perspective because that is the next piece to understanding where you are having issues in your lead funnel. Lastly, is your average ticket. Small percentage increases across the board on all three of these metrics are going to have an astronomical effect on your business. In order for you to decide which one needs the most attention, you have to have data. You have to have something in front of you that says, boom, this is a big red flag. I need to go fix this thing. Those are the three KPIs. Let me know what else you'd add in the comments below.